Any fish. 26th of December 2017. Uh, just here in some articles again. I want to touch real quick back on this Western Wall Synagogue again here, real quick. I was talking to Johnny B over there at Watchmen for that great day, and he really brought up something very interesting regarding Ezekiel 8. When he said unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, this is at the, uh, the temple here. Behold a door. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. Okay. <clears throat> so I went in and saw and behold every form of creeping things, abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about, and there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel. In the midst of them stood Jezaniah. Now, we could keep going on here, but I'll tell you what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imagery, for they say, The Lord seeth us not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. Just like Isaiah 29. Who sees us? Who knows us? They do their works in the dark, right? So I believe that's what they're doing. They're bringing in the 70 ancients. They think they're bringing in their Messiah, their whatever. But that's what they're conjuring up here with all this stuff they're doing. 2,000 years since they've done the incense and all this stuff. You don't think that they're doing incense in here? In their new temple? Directly beneath the Temple Mount? I mean, that's just insane. This thing is like right beneath the Temple Mount, literally. All right, so yeah, so John, he made a real good point there, that that lines up perfectly. And the reason I'm making this video really is because I was just finishing up my day and I'm going through the headlines and I see this article here. Just a regular article, right? Not in my spirit it wasn't. I mean, as soon as I read it, after 445 days at KC Shelter, Mastiff Mix finally lands home. 45, 445 days, of course, right away. You got the 44, the Obama 44, the submarine, all of it. 9, 9, 18, 666, but it's a 13. Okay, after 13 days. The way I read this is after, right here, Genesis 14.4 12 years they serve Chedorlaomer and in the 13th year they rebelled now these are all the of, of old ancient days people the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah this is the whole line of Ham and uh, Nimrod uh, Cush the line of Cush it's all in there the same line right so after after 13 years they rebelled at KC shelter KC in numerology is 23 that's what it is and the shelter is them in the dark they do their work in the dark that's what they've been doing for eons but now they are coming out of the dark and they're coming out because they have to, because they're being cast down. They're being, and the angels coming down to open that pit as well. You got to check this out. The Mastiff, the shelter, the 23, the shelter. The Mastiff is known throughout history, known history from as, as the black dog, the black ghost. It's a demon. It's literally a demon, a demonic entity. Okay, that's what it is, and it's a mastiff. It's portrayed as a mastiff. It's in here somewhere. You can find it. I'll link it. Okay, so the mastiff <laughs> mix. Okay, so you got the strong, dark, evil mastiff, 23, and it's mixed, though. What's it mixed? Well, the only mix that I know of is the mixed, the iron, and the miry clay. But they shall not cleave one to another. See what I'm saying? This is like the harvest, people. This is like the wheat and the chaff, the yin, the yang, the uh, the everything. And it finally gets cast down. Lands. 
Why would they say lands unless it was coming down to land home? Who owns this earth? Huh? Who offered it to Jesus if he bowed to him? Now check this out. Kansas City, Missouri, a big mastiff with droopy eyes that endured a heartbreakingly long stay at City Animal Shelter has finally found a home. After 445 days, the Kansas City Pet Project Shelter, where more than 10,000 pets pass through annually, Paulina was finally adopted. Paulina. Think about this. A mastiff. The black dog. Mix. Named Paulina. You know what Paulina is? And this is no BS. This, Paulina is a direct, direct feminine derivative of Apollo, Apollyon, Abaddon. Crazy, man. I'm serious. This is just crazy. This is exactly what I'm seeing here. The Kansas City Star wrote about Paulina's plight earlier this year. She was always sweet and left behind because largely because she was scared of other dogs and children. After the star story, that strikes me as something worth looking into, several people stepped forward to adopt Paulina. Well, the world has adopted Paulina, unfortunately. Ultimately, she went to Kansas City home where she can roam three acres. Three acres. You know what an acre is? I mean, come on. Seriously, you can't make this up. An acre is quite literally 66 by 660 feet. That's what it is. 6666 six, six, six times 3, 666. Six, six. The thing is just loaded to the gills with it. This whole thing. And why would they put in this? Well, probably because it's another 13 and a 21. It's just all of it. Of land and sleep on a large warm bed. Oh, I bet. KC Pet Project staff chose Paulina's new family after talking with them and visiting the home. She's gone through so much, Tori Fugate. Fugate. Check that out. Few. Gate. Few will enter in at the gate. Spokeswoman for the KC Pet Project said Sunday, of course, when the dog went to her new home just in time for Christmas. Wow, this is crazy. This is exactly what this is saying right here. You know that great dragon that's going to be cast down? Well, it's going to be cast down. Probably sooner than most people are remotely even ready for. So, that being said, if you do not know the Savior, the Messiah, the true Lord and King, Jesus then you really need to seek him out now. This is coming, folks. You will not be able to stand without Christ. Just that simple. So, seek him today, okay? Uh, pretty wild. I hope uh, you understand what I'm saying here. So, there you have it. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 